Hey, I'm Lucy Jones and I play Alphaba in Wicked. That sounds really cool to say, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for a living? I play Alphaba in Wicked. No good deed is everything. Um, when I did my rehearsal and I learned the blocking and everything for that, and obviously flying at the end of Defying Gravity is hella cool. But also just being part of something that I love so much. I'm a fan of Wicked, I'm a huge fan. So to be able to be part of its history, a very small part, of course, but to be part of that is, uh, is really, really special. I feel like that's gonna kind of stay with me forever. It will never be lost on me that I'm doing something that I really genuinely love. I like to see everyone before a show, so I'm kind of, a, I'm a visitor and I like having my door open for visits from people. And I like to be, even if I'm not a beginner in a show, I like to be down at beginners and see everyone and just have a moment of, everyone good? We all all right? Let's like, let's have fun and do the thing. The show is go, 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 go. So I don't get to sit and, you know, how was your day? Um, so I do like to do that before the shows. I also like scaring people. I do like scaring people um, because it's funny on Instagram and it makes me laugh. Actually, I think I might be the first Welsh Alphaba. Welphaba? Welphaba? <laughs> I think like lots of people have uh, stood by and covered the role and done it on tours and things, I think. Um, but I don't know if there's been a Welsh Alphaba in the West End. I might be wrong. Um, so that's pretty wicked. Um, and also, the emblem of Wales is a dragon, and there is a dragon above the stage. Oh, that's pretty wicked. Hello, I'm Gary Wilmot. Uh, I'm playing the wonderful Wizard of Oz in Wicked. I'm really looking forward to joining a show that's established, so we know it's good, but also it has a reputation for extremely high standards and quality of performer. And if I can be a part of that, then that must mean I'm all right. <laughs> I saw the show in its first year and immediately wanted to paint my face green. I saw myself as Elphaba. Uh, but the wizard was always attractive. It's it, it just such a wonderful character, and, and um, he gets to sing two beautiful songs. I mean, really lovely songs, and it's a nice little story arc. Um, so that's something that really stood out for me. And I mean, knowing the Wizard of Oz, you know, somewhere over a rainbow and all that, and the fact that this wizard is there now on stage, it's just, it, it feels right for me to play this role. This feels right. Being kind and then almost being a bit villainous. The only quirk I have is that I turn up on time. Uh, that, that's, that's about it, if that's a quirk. I always turn up with my hair casual. Never make an effort as far as that's concerned. Um, that's about it, that's me. Are you ready? Three. There's me showing off now, you see. Make a fool of myself. Well, you know, talent, it's a blessing and a curse, isn't it really? I'm Sophie Louise Dan and I am playing Madame Morrible. It's just like everybody's um, grown up dream. It's like playing the best dress up game ever. The iconic Defying Gravity, Alphaba aloft, you know, with all her power and that um, Whatever that note is, that E flat that she just belts out over the auditorium, I think it's just thrilling. It's quite a while since I've seen the show. I'm going back to its opening year. I mean, even its first six months. So I am so excited to see how the journey has progressed and even more so being part of that journey. I'm a bit of a clean freak and I love to do cryptic crosswords bit of a devious mind. Lateral thinker, I suppose. Yes, that's what I'm going to call it. It's a quirk. <laughs> I'm Ryan Reed, and I will be playing the role of Fiero. Dancing Through Life. Um, I've done that song probably a million times at community theatre groups, at youth theatre groups. So to do it at the Apollo Victoria is going to be epic. I think I've seen the show about four times. I saw it originally with Adina Menzel, which was really, really exciting way, way back when it first started. Um, and I've seen some friends in it, which has been great. So now my friends get to see me in it, which would be really, really fun. I think Defying Gravity probably is the most kind of iconic moment, but I've got to say the Ozdust 
whole section when they go to Oz is epic. When they come out in the green and the one shot day and the guy doing the ribbon, it really transports you into the world of Oz. Um, and you can understand why Elphaba is so excited to go there. I think Theo would be a good skier. I mean, there's probably mountains somewhere in Oz or somewhere, you know, in this world that he's probably like skied Oz style or snowboarded. And probably been amazing at it because he's amazing at everything. He, you know, if he's not dancing through life, he's skiing through life, floating through life, whatever. <laughs>